Okay, so we are going to look at this equation. Absolute value of x. That's absolute value of y. Oop, careful, careful with that. Are we out? Are we still in range? Um, yeah. Let's make a little bit more. Okay, we're going to try to just graph this in the xy plane. Okay, before we start, well, actually, let's start. But I want you to talk to me. Tell me first some points that you think will be part of this region. Absolute value of x plus absolute value of y is less than or equal to 1. Obviously the origin. Ah, very good. All right. The origin will be one point that's in there. Well, and also the point, there's some point, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Ooh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Very nice. So and I'm going to put that about right there. So going to be 0. Negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. Okay, I'll put that about right there. 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. Okay, so that seems to... Uh, oh, wait, you said 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5? Yeah. Okay, good. And then negative 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. So it's just going to be that square. Uh, you think the whole region... No, I think these points are going to be in. Okay, what do you think about the points in that square? I think... All of them are going to be in this region, but it's not all the points. Oh, okay. You can have, well, but no, no points are going to be past this. All these they're the final points on these diagonals. Ooh, great observation. So, and I think it's also going to. So you can have you can have values that are like really long along here, but then they're like minusculely high. So you can have. It can like curve to be slowly sloping down like that. Okay, maybe. And doing that with all of those too. Okay, interesting. Interesting thoughts. Do you have anything you want to add? Well, the points one zero zero one minus one zero and um, zero minus one are also on here. Okay, that does about right. Is there anything special about those points? They do make a square. Mm, okay. They make a square. It yeah. seems, seems to look like this. Yeah. What do you think now? Maybe this is our region. There's nothing like over here is going to be in, in this region. Okay. What about, you said there might be points over this way that are minusculely high. So there's, oh actually, it actually doesn't work because these points can't be higher than one. And they have to be either um, less than or equal to one. Which points? Well, any one point. Any one value of ah, either one of these has to be. Any one value of those has to be less than or equal to one. Okay. So that this so this might be a region, this square. Hmm, this might be a region. The whole region, the square. Now you were talking about making four different equations. What's what's the simplest one of the equations that you would make out of this of well, the four? Um, so x and, x and y could either be positive or negative, but the simplest one would be to have them both be positive. Okay, so we look at x plus y, call it equals one, that would be the boundary. What kind of line is that? This is a line I guess, which has slope negative 1. Okay. So it's going to be either um, this line or this line. Okay. And it's moved 1 over from the origin. So it looks like it's going to be this line. Okay. Interesting observation. That's this line here. Yeah. Based on that, what do you think the equation for this line down here is going to be? Well, it should be... Um, They're both negative. I think that's going to be y minus x plus y equals 1. All right, minus x plus y equals 1. Let's see if we can find some points on that line to see if it is indeed this line. What? You said, you said this line, right? Oh, I said this. Oh, you, you were saying this line. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was talking about this line, but that's fine. Let's, let's look at this line. Okay. Here. All right. What can you tell me about that? Negative x. So, so the same, um... So we can look at maybe this point here. Okay, what was that point? So that was, um, 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. It's 
so negative x, that's going to be 0 0.5. Oh no, negative x, that's going to be negative x is 0 point, negative 0 0.5. Yeah. Plus y is negative 0 0.5, that's going to be negative 1. Okay. Uh, so it looks so like instead of the opposite line. All right. Let's yeah. check. Let's check a point on this line here. Let me check this point here. All right, which is negative zero point five zero point five. Sorry, I put the decimals in the wrong spot. Okay. So that means negative x is zero point five uh -huh. plus y zero point five. It's one. Okay. So and then our other lines are going to be x minus y equals one. What do you which think? Which is that's that's actually going to be this line. That's actually so, that yeah. line. And okay. then negative x. Minus y, it's one. This line over here. It's that line over there. Okay. And then our region is going to be this. It's going to be the square. It's going to be the square because these are the lines on the boundary. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome. Does that give you any inclination of what you think the the 3D region is going to be? Well, it it's going to be something involving because we're we're going to have the same we're going to have a square. But we're going to have it in three different planes. You have the xy plane, the xz plane, and the yz plane. And mm. there's going to be some points in the middle. So. Yeah, and all of those squares interact with each other, too. Yeah, yeah somehow. Somehow. So, mm, hmm. Maybe something like a cube? All right, what do you think? Hmm. Well, yeah, maybe something, something that, and something that maybe is maybe part of a cube or is a cube. Okay. All right. Well, let's go upstairs back to the computer and take a look. All right.